We're doing another unboxing today. If it looks like I'm in a different table or area, it's because this is my sewing table and the table I normally film on is my crafting, painting, and everything else table. But that's covered in stuff I'm working on right now for a project, a very big project. So anyways, I have an unboxing. This is Monster High San Diego Comic Con release of Voltage's Frankie Stein. She finally came. And if you've noticed that my hands are pink, it's because I dyed my hair today. Clearly, it doesn't look like trash. So this box is already way, way bigger than like the Haunt Couture's. So we're going to get this paper off. And there she is, black and white, Voltageous Frankie Stein. For those who don't know, this is a bit of a sequel doll to the Frankie Stein that came out in 2015? No, 2012, something. That was the black and white Frankie Stein and then they had a superhero line as well and that's a combination of those two. So this is a sliding box. So it just says Voltageous here, Monster High here, and then some pretty cool artwork on the back. And then it says doll designer Rebecca Schickman, packaging engineer Olga Tesler, packaging designer Charis Chin... I'm not saying that name. I can't pronounce that. Copywriter Tamika Kosin and illustrator Darko something in a romantic language. So let's get to that. I'm gonna put this down here. So I will actually take this Frankie. That's a really nice box though. Mm. So it's a beautiful display box. And I'm like, or I was gonna take it out of the box and like completely unbox it. Now I'm really liking the display of this box. <laughs> and I have to have a little bit of contemplation on if I want to take her out of this or not. Because it's a really nice display. It says Voltageous and Metallics across here. And then the back says Monster High. Z what the? I was walking home from school and getting to the best part of an old Voltageous comic book. Suddenly, lightning hit the page and I felt a zap and everything went black. Zap. Oh, my head and my bolts are tingling. I feel a surge of power and an all too familiar spark in my fingers. I got a bolt to my lab. Crash. Whoa. Look at my hair. It's absolutely electrifying with all these streaks in my face. I mean, my makeup looks great, but that freaky fab lightning bolt can only mean one thing. Clang. Voltageous is back. I never planned on being a teenage superhero, but this outfit is totally stitched for zapping crime. Just look at this shocking silver jumpsuit and dazzling metallic jacket. Paired with these high voltage boots, Voltageous is serving looks with a side of justice. So what I'm gonna probably do is take Frankie out of the box completely. Like, to undo the ties and everything, but keep the box fully intact, intact, so I can put her back in the box when I'm done and just have her standing at the bottom here in a, some sort of pose. That way she's still like in a case, but not hooked up to all her stuff. Oh, she comes with a doll stand. Oof. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I think it's a cool doll display box. So, there she is. Silver stand at the bottom. Ba -da 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 -da. Boop. God, they do not want you to get her out. But I'm gonna use big brain power and instead of, yeah, removed her hand instead of cutting this because now 
I'm going back and forth on how I want to display this doll while well, that fucked up. I'm going to put that aside. <laughs> she looks weird without hands. All right, let's put her little hands back on. All right, so Voltageous Frankie Stein. Very shiny. They definitely liked the tinsel on her. She's got some really cool earrings. Overall, pretty neat. They definitely went fully black and white with her, except on the eyes, which is the only bit of color on this doll. But her skin, outfit, hair, everything else is black, you know, grayscale, black, white, gray. Hair, just black, white with tinsel, just straight down. It's not like wavy or anything. Back of the outfit is just the tinsels, nothing really special hiding back here. She's wearing jumpsuits, all one solid piece. So the only real accents on it are the silver lightning bolt that go around her chest like that. She's very shimmery, so this kind of matches the belt she's got going on here. Her outfit's like, kind of like a galaxy look to it, galaxy pattern look to it face is cute. They're keeping up with the, the eyelashes like they do on the Haunt Coutures. Eyes, you know, green and blue. Oh, it looks like she has the slightest color of blush in her cheeks. Might not pop up in the light, but you can just barely see it. Metallic earrings. The, the neck bolts are metallic as well. Shoes, kind of like big old rock star boots. Lightning bolts. I'm sensing a theme here. I wonder what it is. Got her stitches. Uh, she's got tinsel jacket, clearly. Just comes right off. It's kind of like that jacket from Birds of Prey, Harley Quinn. And overall, she's pretty, pretty simple. Not bad, like, Seems like they put more effort into her than the Haunt Couture Frankie. And I know I keep, every time I do a doll unboxing, I'm like, oh, Haunt Couture Frankie. But I just, I felt like I had issues with that doll. Just given, you know, higher expectations. Nice shoes, completely metallic all the way around the, the sole part. She has a metallic brush, and then she does come with a little comic book, so let me get this out. So, it's a Voltageous comic book, and it actually opens up, so that's pretty cool. The back says, be on the lookout, another hero is following the claws of chaos. So, either Claudine or Torelai? Because that's interesting. But it's a full mini little comic book in here. Looks like there's no real words in it. Oh, there is. They are just extremely tiny. So it's... It's nothing you can really read. Oh, yeah. I think Claudine is going to be the next one. Claudine's going to be the next hero they do. And that's, yeah, that's it. Oh, but then again, I thought that was Gulia's face, but I think it's Torlai's face. So I think we might be getting a Torlai. Unless this is just a reprint of the original Voltages comic. Because I never got any of the Power Ghouls line. So this is my first of that, like, superhero line. Even though she's kind of like a spin-off doll, I don't know how to describe it. But it would be interesting if they all got, like, rebooted or redesigned. Still old school Monster High, but black and white? I don't know. 
So clear stand, and we're gonna do the stand test. I know y'all love that, that's your favorite part. Oh my God, my favorite part of her unboxing is when she tests to see if the stand works and then gets mad when it doesn't. So we're gonna check for the click. I love that. And that slides right on. And we're gonna put you on. And her little comic book. And that's her. Overall, pretty cute. Happy with her. I don't really have too much to say about her. Well, you know, obviously when I don't have too much to say about a doll, I end up always saying, pretty cute, pretty cute, pretty cute. I might have to just do a montage of all the times I've said pretty cute during a doll unboxing because it's ridiculous. Anyways, that's that. <laughs> I seem so unimpressed, like, whatever. I like her, you know, I'm really getting into buying every doll they release now because back before we realized we took Monster High for granted, I only picked and choosed what I wanted to buy. Now I might just end up buying all of them I see, at least collectors wise. Come here, baby. Amy. Oh, what a handsome little fella. Oh. How you doing? Oh, are you all sleepy? You want to say hi to the people? Say hi. Oh, that was a side eye. So. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, this is my baby boy. So if you too are a fan of Frankie, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And give this boy all the love in the world because he is special. He's my big beautiful baby boy. And I love him, I'm gonna scratch his little booty. So thank you for viewing my video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and do all this stuff, sir. And yeah, thank you. <laughs> yes, kisses. Bye. Hand me in the head.